We're coming up this week on Archer's Choice. A little bit more. Great. Hey, this week on the Archer's Choice, we are heading north, northern Alberta. Northern Alberta, not yep. north. To Alberta. No, huh? No. Okay, well, hey, we're going to Northern Adventure Hunts with Heather Cheney. And we've been up there, the guys have been up there hunting for a few times. And few we've years had tremendous now success each hunts. season, yeah. which is good. And we're joining Freddie and, and Gary. Gary from the office, so we'll see how they do up there. Now, Lucky Logo, well, is. Uh, it's she. She apparel, so look for the for S logo. For expedition. No, for her expedition, because if it's a guy watching, they're not going to win that. Well, I guess they could for their girlfriend or their wife. Yeah, that'd be it. Yeah, It'd make them happy. Anyways, and then she'll tell you what to do with that. So now, let's travel north. Travel north. To Alberta. To Alberta. <laughs> with Freddie and Gary, let's see how they can start off the hunt. <laughs> Well, we're here, O'Hare Airport. We're standing next to some big gigantic fossil. I don't know what it is. I'm sure Gary does. <laughs> On our Sounds way up to, to me. I don't know. I just figured <laughs> Gary would. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Gary. What is it? A brontosaur? It's a dinosaur. Anyways, heading up to Alberta, Northern Adventure Hunts, Heather Cheney. Got our tickets, got it through security. We're good to go. Time to go bearing down, baby. Well, Freddie and I have made it to Alberta. We're uh, headed up to Northern Adventure Hunts with uh, Heather Cheney. And uh, as we are getting closer, we're getting a little bit colder. We've got some snow coming down, but uh, we're ready to go bear hunting. That's all that really matters to us. So uh, we'll be meeting up with Heather up here in just a little bit, get a meter, go to camp. When we sent these two guys up there to, to Heather Cheney's, you know, we thought, well, maybe, just maybe, some of Freddie's emotion could run off on Gary. Yeah, we got in, had a good night's sleep, got our stuff unpacked this morning, had a good breakfast. Jason went out and checked trail cams, got a nice bear on a trail cam, so pretty excited about that. We're gonna go out, shoot our bows, make sure everything's lined up where it's supposed to be, get ready for tonight. This is the first night of our hunt. We got in last night. We actually, it was snowing last night when we got in. We still got a little snow on the ground, but it's a beautiful night. Uh, we've got some stealth camp pictures of a bear that's been hitting this bait, so they set us up in here. Should be a good night. We're just gonna sit back and wait and see what happens. First night in Alberta, and man, it was an exciting night. Freddie and me and up in the stand, we're not in there very long, and we have this young boar come out. Uh, he actually came over, checked us out a little bit up in the tree. He was in and out all night. It was awesome. Hey, don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we're gonna see if Gary can get his first black bear up in Alberta. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Nine. Quiet, ten. would you? <laughs> now let's see. Gary's up in the tree. Let's see what happens with Gary in the tree. You can't, don't mind if I count Gary, when you're doing no, it. No, do don't you? count. You'll, you'll screw me up. Bear came over to check us out. Got down to the bottom of the tree and took one 
outside. He saw Freddy and said, I don't want any of that. So you head back over to the big barrel. He's going to sit around and eat for a while. This is fun. Sure enough, this other bear shows up and, uh, you know, we're sizing him up, you know, trying to figure out if he's a shooter. And uh, evidently he wanted to size us up because he came right up in the tree with us. After he went down and he kind of went back out in the woods, I looked at Freddie and Freddie looked at me and said, yeah, he's a shooter. So uh, we were just hoping then that he was going to come back out a little bit later and as luck would have it, he did. Great start to the hunt up here at Northern Adventure Hunts. Last night, first night of the hunt, we got the chance at this big guy. Uh, he actually came up in the tree with us, a uh, little bit too close for comfort. Uh, we were thinking when he got up there, he was a pretty nice sized bear. And maybe we should uh, take a shot at him, but he went off in the woods. Uh, lucky for us, he came back a little bit later and uh, I got a shot at him. He only went about 60 yards and piled up. This is my first black bear, and uh, boy, I'm proud of him. Thanks, Heather and Jason, Freddie for coming out, Ralph and Vic for sending us up here. We've got uh, a few more days left of the hunt. It's a good start. Hopefully, we'll get three more just like him. Time for this week's Bull Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Success? Hmm. Be more adaptable? There's your ticket. Here's the thing, you wanna be more successful, be more adaptable. Well, a couple things that we carry all the time in the field is we've got our pruners, our ratchet cutters, or whatever you wanna call them, our folding saws. This allows us to get some brush and make moves, you know, and do things that we need to. The other thing that a lot of people don't think about, and that is trying or keeping something to help you conceal yourself, whether in a ground blind tree stand or whatever. We carry netting all the time with us. Whether we drape it over, whether we use cable ties, clothespin, or these little doohingy clamps. And I mean, these things are strong, look at that, ow. Well, the thing with this, these work the best actually, is all of a sudden you find the right spot. You have to hurry up and brush it in. You put this netting, you cut some brush, you put it in front, you try to pay close attention so you have some type of shadows above you, creating more shadow, and then always pay attention to your backdrop so you're not silhouetting. Putting this netting up with these clamps, cutting some natural brush, is going to help you be more successful in the field. Being adaptable, well, that's the ticket to success. That is your Bowhunting World Tip of the Week. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we've got Freddy in an Amerisep ground blind hunting those big Alberta Bruins. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, Gary did it. Can you believe it? Good job, Gary. Congratulations. How cool was that? Yeah. Now? And he was excited. <laughs> he was. And now it's Freddie's turn. And Freddie, 
it which is, something we've started doing years ago and we love it is I'm hunting them out of, out of our Maristep ground blinds, man. It's just cool. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a different adrenaline rush. Especially when they want to come up by the blind. So let's see what the big Fred man can do. Dun, dun. All right, we're up here in northern Alberta with Northern Adventure Hunts, Miss Heather Cheney. And uh, Gary shot an awesome bear last night. We're here night number two. Now you guys said that you guys, this bait particularly, we're gonna use a ground blind today because you think the bear's looking up at the tree stand. Right, he's coming in from behind the tree stand and walking right around in behind it and, and probably just looking up there to see if there's anybody there. Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and set up our mare step intimidator blind, get in there as quiet as possible and see what we can do about killing this big old smart bear. You're gonna get him. Let's go, I'm ready. Right. <clears throat> set up the ground blind, cut some small trees out of the way to make some shooting lanes, and uh, we're ready to go. So now it's just time to settle down. Northern Adventure Hunts, Northern Alberta. It's time to bear down, baby. So Heather comes to the conclusion that this big old smart bear is wised up to her tree stands. So what do we do? Take in our Maristep ground blind and set it up about 15 or 20 yards away from the bait. Sure enough, it works. And just like Heather said, we look up, we spot this bear, and there he stands for about 10 or 15 minutes, looking right up into the tree stand, making sure the coast is clear. Well, when he thought the coast was clear, he decided to come on in, and we were waiting for him. Well, like big old smart bears do, he starts to notice that something just isn't quite right. And as he goes to walk off the bait, I come to full draw, put my true goal pin right on his armpit and let her rip. And let me tell you something, my blood runner ate him up. Okay, here it goes. The emotions, the emotional one, Freddy. Is it gonna happen? Oh, there he goes, start shaking. <laughs> Northern Adventure Hunts, Heather Cheney, Northern Alberta. Worked like a charm. <sighs> yes, baby, yeah. Hell of a two days, baby, two days, two bears. Northern Adventure Hunts, Alberta. Ooh, Heather, Jason, thank you so much. Oh. Well, here he is. It was a heck of a track job, I'll tell you that much, but Jason was confident after going back and looking at the footage uh, that the shot was lethal, so we tracked him for a while, and uh, the blood started to peter out and peter out, speck after speck, but Jason and Heather stayed with it, and they did an awesome job tracking this guy. We're up here at Northern Adventure Hunts with Heather Cheney in Northern Alberta, and uh, here we are, it's night number two, bear number two. Smooty killed his first bear last night, awesome bear. And then we come out here and follow it up the next night with this big old pumpkin head of a Bruin. Just got a great melon on him. Awesome, awesome hunt. Like I said, we're here night number two, bear number two. We have, uh, we have four nights left and two bears left to kill. So we're gonna get this guy drug out of here and Smooty will be back in the stand tonight. But uh, again, I just gotta say thanks to Heather and Jason up here at Northern Adventure Hunts, Ralph and Vicky for the opportunity. And of course the good Lord above for uh, helping me make a good shot on this guy. Just awesome time here in Alberta, baby. Don't touch that remote, because when we come back, we are bearing down up in Alberta with Freddie and Gary. Okay, I got the Apache on, but I, I think we want to nice. just set your loop up a little more. Okay, hey, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Gary, Freddie, Way to go, job. guys, see? That, that's being more adaptable. That's right, they are. And now, again, 
going into Freddy's second bear hunt, they got to be adaptable again just because of everything that's going on. They end up taking their hunter specialties, right? Netting, the netting, and they pin it up. Let, well, yeah, let's not give it all away. No. They got to watch it. And first. they make a makeshift blind, and it could work. All right, it's our last night up here. Northern Adventure hunts here in northern Alberta with Heather Cheney. It's about uh, two thirty. We're getting ready to go get set up here. We have some uh, HS netting. We're going to put around some poplar trees that are about eighteen or twenty yards off the bait. So last night, do or die time. So we're heading to what they call the rock bait. And the area that the rock bait is in is so thick that we didn't have an option of taking in our Ameristep ground blind. So what do we do? We adapt. We take our HS netting in with us and a staple gun, and in about 10 minutes, boom, bam, pop a few staples in some poplar trees, and we have a blind set up. Well, it's our last night up here, Northern Alberta with Northern Adventure Hunts. We're set up here on the rock bait. We came in here, set up our HS camo netting, and made ourselves a ground blind. That's where our camo netting comes real in handy. It makes you real versatile. We're gonna sit back, settle down. Hopefully tonight we'll be able to smell what the rock bait is cooking. So I'm sitting there just kind of relaxing, taking a little bit of a snooze. My thermocell's going, there ain't no bugs around. All of a sudden, Gary looks up, and here comes the bear. You'll see that as this bear stands up, I come to full draw and it's quartering to me. I'm 100% confident in my abilities to make the shot and my equipment. So as this bear stands up, it's quartering to me, I put the pin right behind its front shoulder and I release. Sure enough, my arrow hits perfect. Right behind the front shoulder, passes all the way through the bear, comes out just in front of the offside back hip. A great shot. The bear goes 60 yards, piles up, it's bear number two for the week up at Northern Adventure Hunts, and me and Gary freak out. Give me love, give me love, give me love. Because that's bear number two. Sporty brother. Oh, Northern Adventure Hunts, Northern Alberta. This place is incredible. I thought he was going to come into the blind. Well, here we are, our last night up here at Northern Adventure Hunts in Northern Alberta. Had a great hunt tonight. They went out, checked our stealth cams, and they had some pictures of this guy coming into this bait here. They call it the rock bait, and we can smell what the rock was cooking tonight, man. But uh, just an awesome time up here. Northern Adventure Hunts in Northern Alberta with Heather Cheney. Heather, Jason, thank you guys so much for all your hard work this week. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Congratulations, Freddie. That was awesome. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm using my cheaters. Let me see. You look like Santa Claus. That's a, oh, <laughs> you're dangerous. Way to go, Freddie, Gary. That's more way to be adaptable. Don't ever pick on me again oh, like that. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Heather Cheney up there at Northern Adventure Hunts. Thank you, you so for Christmas, much little for letting <laughs> the guys come up there and showing them some awesome bear hunting. We really appreciate it. And I mean, Northern Alberta, what a great place to be going bear Ooh, hunting yeah. at. Absolutely. One of hey, our this favorite week's Lucky Logo, if you happen she, to see it. She, so you can have your C4 suit. Oh, it's been a long day. Cool. If you happen to see the She logo, you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone is going to win a wonderful C4 suit. For her expedition. That's right. See, it's not for his. Yes. Next week, we're going to Iowa. Iowa, Don't where the big it. boys roam. Big boys roam. Whatever. Hey, we want to thank you for too. watching. We want to thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.